Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video is about packing all the gear for a motorcycle trip or longer adventure. So as you see, I have I take quite a bit of gear. Maybe I have a little bit too much stuff, but I like to have all the clothing, my camping gear, my cooking gear, and toiletry stuff. We're gonna try for this trip to pack into those two panniers and a small a uh, bag that will go on a pylon seat right here so that will be accommodating my shoes toiletry bag and stuff like that that will not go into the panniers i'm hoping to achieve that uh, normally uh, as you saw probably on my previous video i was taking my 40 liter duffel bag on a pylon seat i'm gonna try go to try to go lighter try to fit in those two bumot extramada panniers I will show you exactly what I'm taking on this trip or on every longer trip. This trip is uh, almost two weeks. Uh, we're heading out to Utah. I don't like to be short of my t-shirts and stuff like that. Don't like to be dirty on the road either. And not always there is a chance to do the laundry. I'll show you how I pack everything and hopefully we'll fit it into those bags. So here we will start with the first compression bag. They are cheap compression bags from Amazon. I think I paid for them like $25. I'm gonna try them on this trip. So I'll show you what's in here. I'm gonna take all out. Right on the bottom, I have rolled one, two, three, four, five t-shirts. And the fifth one is gonna be on me. So normally, Two days out of the t-shirts should be okay um, it's not going to be too hot this time hoping that everything will fit and hoping that i'll be okay with uh, four t-shirts then i have uh, four pairs of underwear we will pack them together with the t-shirts probably that's the best option in this situation here roll everything tight and we have riding socks so I have a couple pairs. There's one pair waiting in the hallway that I'll be wearing. We got one, two, three total pair of riding uh, socks. And then I also have the regular socks just in case if I'll be short or I'm not gonna be able to wash it. So I'll take another three pairs, two regular socks and one ankle socks. So that will go into this compression bag. And I also put here two additional power banks that I will need to charge my equipment if I have no access to power on the way. We'll zip it up and compress this. You don't want to overload those compression bags because they will probably rip, especially that they're not top quality. There's better brands, of course, even if, uh, if they last me on one trip, that's uh, okay. And be gentle with those zippers. You don't want to force it. Just put it together and slide it in. That will reduce the whole size of this clothing in here. And there we go. So that's half of the size of what it was before. So that's the first compression bag ready to go to be packed. So we'll put that aside and I will show you here what do I have in the second compression bag. A pair of shorts on the top for easy access, just in case if you wanna go for a quick swim somewhere along the river or lake. I have a one warmer sweater. Casual pants, those are like khaki style or hiking pants from Costco. They're light and uh, they pack small. So as you see, I roll everything. Quite important stuff uh, for sleeping in a tent is a thermal undergarment, like a pyjama. It's an under armor, so it's warmer if it's cold at night. 
I even have a spare sprocket for, for the front, just in case, um, because I looked at it before the trip, but uh, just in case if I need to change it, I'll have it ready with me. So we'll pack those as well right in here. And I also have a casual pair of shorts if I'm heading out somewhere around the campsite or somewhere in town. So sweater goes in here as well, shorts for easy access on top. Might as well stick in here electrical tape, good to have on the road. Perfect spot for it, so we'll zip this bag up. This one has a little bit much room, more room, but that's okay. I don't wanna have it tight. And again, shrink in size much smaller. So what's good about it, you can also use those as a pillow in a tent. I do have an inflatable pillow. It's not the most comfortable pillow in the world, but it does the job it did on so many trips. But this time I'll try to use probably the smaller compression bag. Just put like a sleeping liner on top of it and it should be, it's actually quite nice and smooth. So it should be perfect for sleeping and might be even better than the inflatable pillow. So we have those two packed up and ready to go. What I will do, I will start packing the panniers. The first pannier is my right hand side pannier. With this one here, right on the bottom, I'm gonna stick uh, wet wipes. Good to have those. They're always good for cleaning or even to quick wash your face or something uh, while you're on the road. Perfect. Uh, they are proven in many different uh, times. So actually might as well stick this first. Then I'll stick those bags right on the side. Toilet paper, never forget that. Even though you can use the wet wipes, uh, they are biodegradable, but toilet paper is always good to have a little bit with you. Mosquito spray bear spray and from here the rest of the stuff is going to be all the stuff that i use for cooking and stuff like that so first thing is the frying pan i have it in a bubble wrap so it doesn't uh, rattle around it is a camping cooking pan next thing i carry a rope just to if i'm washing the, the stuff i can hang my stuff on it could serve as a different purpose as well. It's a nylon rope, so it's pretty strong. Small jar of pig lard, homemade. It's perfect for cooking eggs and stuff like that. Anything you're frying, it's good to have. Nano press, the coffee maker. Yeti mug for rum or coffee in the morning. That's what's being used. I always wrap it up so it doesn't rattle. So the towels are always good to clean up your dishes or whatever. So a couple of microfiber towels uh, I like to carry with me as well. Bottle of uh, propane for a stove. And then a couple items of canned food. One of them is a mystery can. That was the label came off. My cooking set. If you haven't seen it, I made a video in the past about it. So if uh, you can go on my playlist and you can see it, what's in there. There's basically a uh, cooking stove, button pans, set of spices. If you cook, if you buy some meat on a go, on a go, you have all the spices with you. Six eggs to start for the first, bre first breakfast, uncooked. And what I like to do with those, I show you. So they basically are sitting on a paper towel on the bottom, covered from the top as well. Before I didn't do that, and they were cracking. This way is proven method. They never crack if you have them this way. Coffee for me is a must. I love my coffee, so I gotta have it. And fire starter kit. That should be pretty much what goes in the right hand side pannier. Now we'll start packing uh, left pannier. So that's where we're gonna put that second bigger compression pack with clothing right on the bottom because that's the item that you don't need too often. I'm gonna flip it over the other way so it doesn't get dirty from anything. Uh, right on the bottom, beside the compression bag, motorcycle cover. I like to cover my bike to cover it from elements at night, if it's raining or whatever, 
it's covered, also the panniers are covered, because that would be the last thing that it's used. Next couple items, I have two different sleeping liners. The first couple nights, it's gonna be cooler, so I have my thicker liner and I have my thinner liner. I'm probably gonna use them both on the first night, because we are in the mountains, believe it or no, the snow is still here. Uh, we're leaving next week, it's uh, beginning of May, and still lots of snow. As long as we get through Montana and Idaho, everything should be fine from there. I'm still gonna pack my uh, inflatable pillow, my sleeping pad, it's a great pad. Here is my main item, it's the Haba Haba NX two-person tent. You've seen that in many of my videos, it's perfect for one person with all the gear, it works awesome. Camping chair, similar to Heliox, fraction of the price, Amazon. It's, uh, I already have it since 2017 when I purchased my bike. Still in a great shape, used every trip. Sleeping bag. That's a very small sleeping bag. Uh, it works well with two liners. I can sleep to like uh, minus 10, minus 15 pushing. And the camping table. And that's pretty much everything is packed up. I can't forget about my little speaker, Anchor. A great sound. It's not the loudest speaker, but it's got very good quality sound. Uh, it's cheap from Amazon. It's perfect to put it on a, on a campground when you're camping and having your good times with the friends. Perfect. So actually, it all managed to fit in that pannier. I can't believe that. And in this pannier, I'm gonna leave a little bit of room. I might need some to get some more groceries uh, just for the first uh, couple of days. So on both pockets in the back, I have a couple of bottles with fuel. In the front pocket, I have two bottles with water. It's, it's warm out there, so I like to have extra work, uh, water for plus for cooking on a camping uh, or washing yourself if you don't have the access. That's water. Plus, I'm gonna have extra water also here in my Ogio backpack. And here, what I'm packing is uh, basically uh, liners for my riding gear, for my jacket and pants, just in case if it's raining, I have my liners, so to make them waterproof. That's pretty much it. I managed to pack everything. I decided actually that I will take this bag with me uh, for the reason of my shoes and probably dirty laundry is gonna go there. I don't wanna keep a dirty laundry with the uh, clean stuff. It's always good to have an extra bag anyways, just in case something tears. Uh, just to let you know that my rear party pannier that I have in the back of my bike, the top pannier, is always carrying all my camera gear, drones, all that stuff. So that's why I'm trying to pack everything just on the side panniers and carry something on the back. Uh, this way I have enough room to accommodate all my stuff that I will need for this trip. So if you found this video helpful in any way, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, and at the end card, I will link the card for the previous video that I made when I'm packing my hard boxes, my hard panniers, also Bumot. This trip is going to be off-road, as I mentioned early, so that's why I decided to go with the uh, my Extremadas, they're soft panniers, much safer, and they don't rattle as much as the hard panniers. So subscribe to my channel, that's always very appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers!